You're watching ISTV English News. I'm Panorama presenting the news. Let's see the top stories. Supreme sacrifice made by brave forefathers for the sake of freedom of motherland fond remembered on Patriot's Day. Widely observed in state and beyond. The 124th Patriots Day was widely observed today in Manipur, other states of India and foreign countries where Manipuri people inhabit. As part of the state functions, floral tributes were paid to the statue of Bir Tikendrajit at Hicham Yaicham Pad at Yeskul, where the brave patriot was laid to raise. Chief Minister of Manipur, Okrami Bobi, Deputy Chief Minister Gai Kangam, Speaker T.H. Lokeshwar, Cabinet Ministers, MLAs, Chief Secretary, top-level civil and police officials, etc. participated in the solemn ceremony of paying floral tributes. A contingent of Manipur rifles offered gun salute as a mark of paying homage to the Patriot. President of Tamil Sangam More V. Sekar, in collaboration with members of Mete Council More, distributed relief materials such as rice, cooking oil, dal, clothes, etc. to the flood-affected people of Myanmar. On the other hand, under the initiative of local MLA Korontang, ADC of More Gochendro distributed household items to people of all communities living in More Block at the office of Mete Council More. Quiraman vendors also observed the Patriots' Day at the temporary market today. Those who attended the observance offered floral tributes to the brave for fathers who sacrificed their lives for the sake of the independence of the motherland. A large number of women participated in the observance. <laughs> The Patriots' Day was observed at the Examination Hall of Administration Block of Reims Hospital too. Director of Reims, Professor S. Rita, Deputy Director Dr. Y. Rajendro, Medical Superintendent Professor M. Amuba and many other officials and doctors participated in the observance. Those who attended the observance offered Reeds floral tributes to the photograph of brave Patriots. The Patriots' Day was observed widely at different parts of the state today. Many organizations and local clubs are also reportedly observing the day in their respective areas. Let's have a short commercial break. We'll be back after the break. I'm ready. Tell her all. Hey, it's a car late. Some say it was a pretty perfectly straight. Ado kangkar kanda di freezy. Relax. Perfectly straight. Aina say me ano basan sir perfectly straight with straight lock technology maramdi. Some kangkar ba matung dasu align straight oina line bagi damo. Wow. Hujik su straight oida na. Straight and gorgeous. Sun silk perfect straight. Lock to view. Rock to view. Now let's see some national and international news. In a huge relief to Nashley, the ban on Maggi noodles has been lifted by a court in Mumbai. The Bombay High Court has, however, asked for fresh test. In June, the country's food safety regulator banned Maggi as unsavory hazardous for human consumption after excessive amounts of lead were reported in sample tested in Uttar Pradesh. Nestle was also accused of violating labeling rules and misleading customers by declaring the noodles have to be contain added MSG or added monosodium glutamate MSG, a test enhancer. Nestle recalled Maggi for shops across the country while asserting its snack is safe and challenged the ban in court. In yet another case of alleged adulteration and floating of rules, the Central Food Laboratory Kolkata has found detergent and frozen fade in mother dairy milk. Some samples of milk were collected in January 2015 from Mother Dairy Boots in Gajabat by the District Food and Drugs Administration FDA department and sent to the Kolkata laboratory where detergent and frozen fat were detected. 
Gajabad FDA has now received the retest reports from the Kolkata Wet Laboratory, according to which both samples of full cream and ton milk were found containing fraud and fate and detergent. District FDA teams had collected samples of full cream milk on January 11 from a mother dairy boot. Both the samples were sent to Uttar Pradesh State Laboratory at Mirut for testing, where they were found it to be of substandard. But mother dairy officials silenced the test reports and demanded a retest of samples at the Kolkata-based Central Food Laboratory. The test report of Kolkata's laboratory has been submitted to the District Magistrate Vimal Kumar Sharma, who in turn will forward it to the higher authorities to seek his approval to initiate legal action against mother dairy. Gajabad FDA Chief Binet Kumar confirmed that two samples collected in the month of January by food safety officials were found to be substandard. A 23-year-old man died of an electric shock after coming in contact with a robot at a factory in Manesha near Gurgaon, police said. Ziram was working in the robot area of the SKH Metals factory when he was accidentally came in contact with a robot and received an electric shock, said Kuldeep Jagu, Secretary General of Maruti Utyo Kamgar Union. Ram was rushed to the hospital but was declared dead by doctors. The company management and contractor have been booked on charge of causing death due to negligence, Assistant Commissioner of Police Rajesh Kumar informed. The National Security Advisor level talks between India and Pakistan scheduled to be held later this month have hit a cloud of uncertainty. Pakistani officials have told news agency that Islamabad has not yet decided on whether to accept India's invite that was sent nearly two weeks ago. Sources in Pakistan say they need a result-oriented dialogue and that public opinion in the country is divided. This is the clearest indication so far that the talks which were proposed after Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his Pakistani counterpart Nawar Sarip made in Russia's Ufa last month may hit a roadblock. There are indications that Sarip's government is under huge pressure from the army to back off. At least 44 people are now known to have died and more than 500 injured following two major explosions in China's northern city of Tianjin. Two of five fighters were among the dead, China's official Xinhua News Agency said, as it reported a doubling of the dead toll. Two blasts happened in a warehouse storing dangerous and chemical goods in the port city of the area. A huge fireball lit off the sky and nearby buildings have collapsed. President Xi Jinping has urged all our efforts to rescue victims and contain the fire, Xinhua reports. The first explosion at about 23.30 local time on Wednesday was followed by another more powerful blast seconds later. Shock waves were felt several kilometers away. The China Earthquake Network Center said the magnitude of the first explosion was the equivalent of the detonating three tons of TNT, while the second was the equivalent of 21 tons. Well, that's all we have for now, but before we wind up, let's have a quick look at the top stories once again. Supreme sacrifice made by brave forefathers for the sake of freedom of motherland fondly remembered on Patriot's Day. Widely observed in state and beyond. Thanks for joining us and we'll be back with more updates. Stay tuned.